Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the Necromunda project. So in today's video, it took a while to come up with how I'm gonna build it, but I dedicate this entire project to Earthman Brick. If you haven't seen his channel, he made an awesome orc dice tower. I will leave a link in the description down below. Go check it out. And he asked me of, well, I would like to see you make a dice tower. So here we are. I made a toxic waste facility dice tower for Necromunda. And here is the monstrosity right now. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Nice slimy pit of toxic waste. And the dice go in here. And they roll out here into this nice slimy pool. So, and I will be using this as a dice tower, but it's also a nice uh, platform facility to play on. And it matches the Necromunda setting quite, ni quite nicely. So if you guys want to build one of these things yourself, I would say follow me to the crafting table and let's do this. Come on. All right, my friends, let's do another Necromunda build. So I'm going to begin with this broken light display box for my base. So first I'm going to remove all components from it. And I've had this thing for quite some time and I never knew what to use it for and now thanks to Earthman Brick, thanks for the inspiration, this will be my dice tray. And this old tobacco tube will be a perfect silo and this cardboard tube from, to hold up posters will be my dice pipe. So I'm holding this against the silo or tobacco tube and I'm measuring it at a tilted angle and drawing a line and I'm gonna proceed to cut through it with my hobby saw. Don't use an exacto blade, just use your hobby saw, it works better, or a regular saw. Now, I'm gonna measure this uh, against my silo for uh, where I want my dices to roll out of. So I hold it against it and simply trace around it with my marker. And then I'm taking my exacto knife and I'm gonna cut out the lines I've just traced. Very easy like this. And I'm gonna dry fit my, uh, my pipe and it fits snugly inside so awesome now the other piece of the pipe i'm gonna match these two together and when they align i'm simply gonna use some hot glue and attach them like this perfect now just to be sure i'm going to reinforce it with some electrical tape because I don't want my dice pipe to break off once I'm rolling dice inside of it. So, And with this around it, it ain't going anywhere. It's rock solid. Very firm. So let's test this. I fitted it into my silo and let's take some dice. Look at them go. <laughs> it works. Perfect. Now I'm measuring the width of the pipe against some foam board as I'm going to create a platform which I end up doing a lot because there will be a lot of platforms. So I'm measuring this and it will be for on top of my silo. I, would, I am extending the platform though. I want it to have a little bit of an overhang in the back as you can see here. Now I'm tracing the bottom of uh, the platform onto the silo just with a marker. like this. Now I'm going to be making a square around the circle. Now from the front of the circle, first and foremost, I'm going to measure out two centimeters and I'm going to draw a straight line. So two centimeters from the front of the circle and I'm going to draw a straight line. Now from the edges of the circle, as you see me do here, I'm going to draw another straight line and the same at the bottom one here. Now I'm extending these lines I just drew by 3 centimeters on both sides and I'm drawing another straight line. Now from each corner I'm measuring 2 centimeters on both sides, 2 centimeters, and I'm gonna draw this, uh, connect dots and draw the uh, at a tilted angle, just as you see here, and then I'm gonna proceed by cutting out the platform. Then I'm going to dry fit it against my dice pipe. You will hear me use the word dice pipe a lot in this video. <laughs> Looking cool, like this. Now I'm going to 
cut out the other two corners as well in the same angle two centimeters and i'm going to proceed by covering the entire platform with some drywall mesh tape because i really like the gridded texture and dry fit this with my dice pipe now to close the back i cut a piece of foam board to match and i'm going to cover that with uh, mesh tape as well and once that is done i'm simply going to attach it by uh, with some hot glue like this and i'm going to glue a piece of foam board that aligns with the edge of the pipe so i have something to attach my running water to now let's make the waterfall i'm simply drawing streaks of hot glue on my silicon mat to form my waterfall just use the hot nozzle to uh, create some texture for the water and let that dry on the silicon mat and once it's dry you can simply peel it off like that now time to hot glue uh, the dice and the pipe well the dice pipe <laughs> and the platform just go around the top of the pipes in circle and attach the platform like this and i'm gonna glue the waterfall in place and also the silo and i'm gonna attach that uh, the water inside of the pipe inside of the tube and i'm gonna smooth that out with my uh, hot glue guns nozzle like this just smoothen it out so the dice don't get stuck stuck not stuck that the dice don't get stuck <laughs> now here i'm snipping off those uh, tiny nubs and i'm gonna proceed to cover the base with uh, some more mesh tape you don't have to do this but i like the texture of it The more grids the better in Necromunda. <laughs> now with some leftover XPS foam roughly 5 cm high, I proceed to make concrete walls to go around the dice pool. Or dice tray. <laughs> Just hot glue them into place. Now I decided to add another box to the side of the dice pool. I do this before I continue with the foam concrete walls. I have another box of these uh, empty tobacco things and I'm simply hot gluing these to the side of uh, the box. This will be uh, some sort of concrete building that holds a smokestack on top of it. And speaking of smokestacks, for that I'm using this, um, this old water filter and I'm simply gonna attach it with uh, some hot glue. I like the shape of this filter. <coughs> So just put some hot glue underneath it and stick it into position, like so, nice and firm. All right, so I want to create a pipeline that runs around my entire piece. So I'm going to glue this connector piece or whatever you call it. And I'm also attaching it to the water filter with a little bit of extra hot glue, like this. Now for the pipeline, um, I have these uh, toy pieces, but if you don't have these, you can simply use a toilet roll, cut it up, roll it up, and you can fold it in there with no effort at all. But I have these pieces, so I figured I might as well use them. But the toilet roll works perfectly as well. Now on the other side, I cut a hole in the silo, like this. First I'm measuring it out, I'm cutting it out with my X-Acto knife. And I dry fit the pipe and once I'm happy with the result I put hot glue inside of the hole I just made and shove that pipe in there and with another connector piece I'm going to attach these two things together being very <laughs> liberal with my hot glue here <laughs> but it works now I'm getting another connector piece inside of the pool just because I like details and connector pieces in my Necromunda builds <laughs> Just stick that thing in there and I also have this um, I don't know what it is called another piece of ripped piping things I have an entire tube of this and it would make for another looking interesting piece inside of my pool now my foldable storage box I'm gonna create another platform first remove all those uh, side lids they snap right off normally I'm gonna measure and this piece I'm going to use as a support pillar first <clears throat> just glue that to the side of the pool like this and I'm gonna glue uh, the top platform on top of it 
Now I have a piece of PVC pipe cut to size and I'm gonna make this will make for another great support pipe or pillar or whatever. Just glue that inside there as well. Now a piece of foam board, I'm going to uh, glue this on top of the connector piece and this will form, will be the base for my walkway. And the walkway will simply be one of those offcuts of the foldable box, as you see here. Now you will notice it is not long enough, but that's okay, I'm going to create some stairs. <coughs> simply attaching a few pieces of foam board together will make a good looking steps. And this way it connects the walkway to the platform, like so looking cool now i have these leftovers from the light box and these will serve as great support beams so i attach them to the pool and to the top of the platform like this now i'm going to attach some paper drinking straws together and i'm going to glue these running alongside these pipes and tilting downwards to the concrete wall because i love necromunda and it has plenty of pipes everywhere now I'm going to glue on a coffee lid and a spray bottle piece on top of the filter. This spray bottle piece will actually form as a, a bond for another uh, piece of exhaust, another piece of plat platform, well not platform, pipe, sorry, <laughs> this pipe thing. I have also glued wooden uh, blocks around the filter just for added detail. Now this pipe is going on top of here and here we have our smokestack. Ta-da! Looking cool. Now I also have this uh, cut up Halloween skull and I'm gonna glue this on front of the in front of the piece of the pipe. In front of the piece of the pipe. Wow. Try saying that ten, ten times fast. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gluing this on here. Extra detail. Like so. Holding it in place a little bit. Now time for another platform. <laughs> I'm going to trace the bottom of the silo again on some uh, foam board which I've aligned with the edge of the wall. And here I'm drawing a line which I proceed to cut out the width of my ruler. And I'm gonna also going to cut out the semicircle I just traced. I'll proceed to cover this with mesh tape as well or if you don't have it just simply use cardstock for uh, metal paneling or whatever you want to use. like this cutting it all away nice now let's build another walkway which is for me 24 centimeters by 5 centimeters just connect the dots I'm gonna cut this thing out. I'm gonna cover it with drywall mesh tape as well. Now I'm, I've traced this walkway on some cardstock and I'm gonna create one centimeter strips to glue on, on top of the walkway. Just use my scissors for this because it kept sliding. Just attach it with some hot glue. And I'm also cutting smaller steps, which I measure, measure like this. And I'm gonna cut these strips out as well. Also one centimeter strips. I'm gonna glue these to the edges here and two in the middle, like this. Now I measure the height of the second flat platform with the foldable box. I'm gonna mark this out on the, the silo like this and I'm gonna attach it with hot glue and I'm going to glue this on side of this on on the silo now measure the walkway we just made for, and uh, we're gonna attach that on on the two platforms and I'm going to simply Cut out a little hole here, which will fit nicely in with the support beam. I'm going to put some hot glue inside of it. And hot glue on both edges of the walkway. And it fits nicely 
between the platforms, connecting them. Another piece for the miniatures to stand on. Just glue it all into place. Now I made two I-beams and I'm going to mark out on the platform where I want them to go and I cut a little notch inside of it, inside of the platform, to glue the I-beam on. Like this. Now the second I-beam runs straight through the platform which is simply by cutting a hole inside of it and sliding in the, the I-beam. And I also added some studs around the pipe on top. And here we have our piece. <coughs> I attach another one here as well for extra support. Now I added a few extra details like cardboard barriers and some ladders to the piece. I will make a dedicated video on useful things to make so you can always refer to that video into the f in the future for uh, these builds. Otherwise these videos would run way too long. <laughs> And you can also see I finished uh, the concrete walls, added some more corrugated paper. This is the, the, the cardboard railing that I was talking about. The ladders. Another one here. Also made another railing with simple cardstock running around here. Piece of foam board attaching these two things. Same here at the bottom platform. Another piece of pipe with the drinking straw. These are all two centimeters high, by the way, so the miniatures can take cover behind it. Here, another piece of paper drinking straw. Two more here, another ladder here. A piece of uh, toilet roll at the bottom. Yeah. Now I'm going to uh, cover my entire concrete uh, wall with wood filler. And I've also stippled this on everywhere I wanted some more texture, even on, even on the silo. This will look nice once it's painted. Yeah, looking cool. Just uh, with a, a little bit of water, just stipple it on everywhere. Go nuts! Now spray it all black. And it ties it all together nicely. It looks quite different now once it's all painted black. And it's time to start painting this entire thing. Quite happy with this piece actually. I also filled the gaps in the bottom with electrical tape and hot glue. Just for the water effect. Now, all right, to my go-to painting, cover the entire thing with a brown paint everywhere. Just go nuts, except the concrete, and then go over it with some silver paint. You've seen me do, do this several times before if you watched any of my other videos. Now, for the concrete, I just go over it with a, with a dark gray. Everything that I want to be concrete, just a dark gray, just be liberal, go over it doesn't have to be neat, but it has to be covered. I'm also making this uh, box a concrete building, or whatever it is. It is concrete. <laughs> Stipple it on. cover these pieces as well also part of the concrete now for the silo I'm gonna paint that with a 50 50 mix of a mint green and a white paint and I'm gonna proceed by stippling this thing over the entire silo and when that is done I'm going to be using a lighter gray over everything that is concrete just a heavy dry brush doesn't have to be neat, just has to be covered. Just a heavy dry brush. Look at me go, I'm so fast. Cool. 
Now the water gets a coat of moss green and after that a lighter green and then a mixture of yellow and light green. Going over it. My son is helping me in a second. <laughs> making it dirty. Now I paint the I-beam in red, then I paint the pipes with a black paint and the walkway gets a coat of blue. I know I'm going really fast, but you've seen me paint these things several times before, so now the ladders get a yellow color. Here I'm painting on the blue on the walkway. Now for the rust effects, I stipple on a rust brown, then a brown paint, and then go over everything with an orange paint. Again, being liberal. Also, do not forget the silo. Cover that with the same mixture as you used on the other things as well. Like this, and let it all dry. Now the orange paint for extra rust. It will look less bright once uh, it's dry, so now I'm going to dry brush a bit of white on the water. And our piece is looking quite grimy. Now let's put some water in the pool. Now on hindsight I should have used resin, but I wanted to keep it cheap. But uh, if you can find something cheaper, resin or fake water for less than 5 euros, use that. Now I'm using this uh, Mod Podge uh, Magic. And yeah, I just covered this all over. But again, in hindsight I should have used resin. Because this uh, only covers just a smidgen of the bottom. But hey, <laughs> live and learn, right? Cover the entire thing, let it run. Now this thing is great for pool for uh, puddles on a uh, cobblestone or something, but it's really not all that great for uh, bigger pieces as like this. But it gives an, a very cool shine to it. So, but yeah, if if you can use resin. Now let's test our dice tower. Here he is, grabbing some dice. Rolling the dice, and there they go! Awesome! There are the dice. Now let's add some models. Here they stand. I also glued on some uh, hazard stripe and some wanted posters to the side of the concrete. Love that sound. Now this guy is going to shoot at her. Nice. She Can she defend? She's going to try to defend it. No, she doesn't. And she is killed. Ah, she falls into the toxic slimy pool down below. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all for watching and all your support. You all are very much appreciated. And I, yeah. I really don't have words to uh, express how my channel is growing. It's all thanks to you guys. And thanks to Earthman Brick for inspiring me to uh, create this uh, piece. Thanks, man. And yeah, there's a lot more to come in the future, guys. So stay tuned for more Necromunda. All right. See you on the next run, everybody. Bye.